new month, there are so many gadgets on the market. Today, I'm gonna show you my faves and the ones that make my life so much easier. <laughs> As a new mother, there are a million gadgets and things for babies. Today, I'm gonna to tell you our faves, the tried and true ones. Ford's gonna tell you his faves. Maybe Kyle will give some peanut gallery commentary. Here we go. I don't know, this might be my favorite thing. The Upper Baby Vista. We did a lot of research on strollers. I have it in the car. I'm gonna show you kind of how easy it is to take out of the car, both of the inserts on it. I really wanna go all fancy and get like a Mima. And then I looked at like some lower end ones. There was nothing like the Upper Baby Vista. I love it. Apparently you can attach more parts to it so that you can put more children on it because God knows Kyle's wanting about six more children. So, oh, unlock, sorry. I'm gonna show you how easy this is get out of the car and set up. So as your baby grows, I'm sorry, Kyle's put about 90,000 things in the back of my car. This is so, real mom life, honestly, though. <laughs> so you take, this is the base of the stroller. You take it out. All you do is unhook this tiny gray thing and transformers. I mean, you can literally do that with one arm without the baby. For the first few months, Ford stayed in this. This is the bassinet, and you put it on like so. That's it. This is the brake. You literally push it. This is awesome too because it has a sun shield, a bug guard, all the things. This is the insert that we started using when Ford was about three and a half months old. They need to kind of have head control, I feel like, to use this one. But all you do is literally the same thing as you do with the bassinet. That's it. Snap it on there. It's so awesome too because you can do it frontward facing if your child's in that stage where they like to look around or you can do it backwards facing. You literally can, so flip it around and voila. You can also lean it frontwards or backwards. You clip this around the baby. This little thing comes off. Couldn't be easier. So then you're gonna fold this up and throw it in your car. All you do is this. What? And that is why there's no better stroller than this. And look how easy, look how light it is. Actually, I'm just really strong. Also, we put these onto um, our Upper Baby Vista and these I got off of Amazon for like $16. Sky Genius is the brand. So it's got a battery, but you can charge them and they're awesome for if you have a baby in the summer. A lot of people have noticed that I have two different car seats. I have, I mean, you'd think I've lived on an interstate. I have the Upper Baby car seat. This is the Mesa. And then I also have the Nuna Pippa Light. This is the Upper Baby. Mesa. I definitely love this part. I love the Upper Baby Mesa. A, because it clips right into the Vista stroller without having to use adapters. And B, I feel like the baby, after they get past about three months, they fit into this one a little bit better. This is the Nuna Pippa Light. This is the one that we always use whenever we're in my vehicle. And this is the one that we brought Ford home from the hospital in. I absolutely love this car seat. I read a lot of reviews online, did a lot of research, and this was definitely one of the best. I highly recommend this one, especially for an infant. I can also put this onto my Up Baby Vista with these things. I got these off of Amazon. All I did was type in um, Up a Baby adapters. You simply put those onto the side, and you can throw it onto your stroller. Let's talk a breast pump. 
in order to figure out what is a pro and a con of a gadget, sometimes I just have to get them all. So that's what I've done with the breast pumps. I have the Medela Freestyle, which is what I started out with. I have the other version of the Medela that kind of comes in this backpack. Um, this is the Pump in Style Advanced. It's connected to this. And I have the portable, fancy, much sought after willow pump that these um, are cordless pumps. The Freestyle was the first pump that I got and it's very portable. And these are the only cords that come on it. So you charge it like into the wall. There are several parts. So you have to clean these parts between every pump session. And if you're like me, you're pumping a lot. That gets kind of annoying, but it is what it is because you have to keep these pumps clean. You put this part together and then <laughs> I can't undo this. <laughs> and then you attach, depending on like the suction size, um, you attach this part, and then you screw the part that the milk goes into, into it, connect this to the back, and obviously you do the other one unless you only have one breast, which I guess there are people that do, so. <laughs> what I really love about this is you unscrew this bottle, you put the cap on this, and then you put it straight in the fridge for five days. Obviously it lasts for five days. I love this pump because it's portable, I love it because you can pump like six ounces per side. So if you pump a lot like me, this is a great pump. It also holds a charge pretty well. So I really, and the suction is pretty good. This is the one that comes in the backpack. Um, the Manila Freestyle, you're gonna find them at all different price points. They're close to $300. I think I got mine for about $270 at Target. Um, this one is a pretty comparable price. I actually got this one from Walmart um, and it was discounted to like under $200. So I'm not, for sure why, maybe it was used. So this is gonna come with this thing kind of already connected into this backpack. Um, it comes with these two cords that are connected that you'll then connect to the pump. You, this one doesn't have a timer. I don't like that about this pump. I think you need a timer, especially if you're a new mom and you're trying to figure out pumping and how long it takes to pump all the way. Um, so you just turn this on and then whatever, it, there, there's a minimum and a maximum, like the suction pressure. So um, the top of this is a little bit different. So it has this little tiny white thing that you connect to this um, yellow thing. You put that into there and then you connect it to the same ones of these. Again, you can pump about six ounces per side if you're pumping that much, which I really like about this one. I love the suction of this one. I feel like it's more efficient than the suction of the Freestyle. This is a dream if you have a desk job, or if you're going back to work and you're still trying to breastfeed your child, or if you're going on a road trip, this is a really cool pump. This one's more expensive than the other two. The other two are in the $200 uh, and up like $300 range. This one is gonna run you a little bit more than that, about $100 more. I think it's $4.99 whenever I got it. And this is called the Willow Pump. Now, what is so awesome about this pumps right into the bag and you can throw that straight into your freezer if you're freezing milk. I love this. It's pretty easy to take apart and put together. You just put the bag in it. You connect it. It's just really cool. It's really great because it's portable. The only thing about these, the only downfall, and I think it's one that I think that they're actually trying to create a pump that has more storage. If you're doing this as your only pump and you pump more than four ounces, this one you have to change the bag. That's the only thing that I don't like about that. So if I'm pumping after I have a feeding session, this is the pump that is my go-to. It connects really well. It stays in your bra better than you would think. It's just so awesome to be hands-free and cord-free. Um, I got two chargers to go with this um, just because I like to keep it charged because you obviously like want it to be fully charged. Maybe you won't mind switching this bag in and out. It's very simple to do, but with me, like that is a con for me because I pump a lot. So they're all great for different things. And people, I'm gonna do a full video on breastfeeding because I feel like I'm like a pro at it now. <laughs> um, so look for that coming soon, but I just want to give you guys a quick review of this in the gadget video. I guess I would call this a lounger. So I got the Docatot as well as the Snuggle Me Organic. It's hard to say pricing. I know a lot of people are like, can you tell me the price of that? But they're priced so differently based on the version that you get of a lot of these items. And from Target to Walmart to Nordstrom, sometimes there's so many price variations that I'm just gonna link all these things below and then you can click it and go straight to it and see the exact price. Initially, 
This Docatot Deluxe was like my thing. I loved this. I loved it that you can kind of take the outside off of this. I love this marble version too. Uh, and, and wash it. I loved just that I felt like it was very secure. I did not feel like my baby was going to roll off of it. And I felt like he was really comfortable. I also, when Ford was really tiny, I used to bring this out and about with me a lot of places. Like if I was going to visit my parents or if I was going to visit my sister, just to have somewhere for him to lay. I just really loved this. Next, I got the Snuggle Me Organic. And when I got this and Initially, I was like, I'm not gonna like this as much as a dog tot, but I actually really love how um, mushy this one was. And I felt like it kind of cradled around him in a way. And I started kind of liking this for that reason. Whenever he was teeny tiny and I was using this, I liked it. This is a lot more structured. The Dalka Tot's gonna be a little bit more expensive than the Snuggle Me Organic. Um, I think it's around like 185 or so. Uh, the Snuggle Me Organics, uh, they're, they're 100 something. Um, but what I really liked about this is that you can really easily take this off and wash it. These are must-haves um, when your baby is small, in my opinion. If I didn't get all space age with you enough with that Willow Pump, I'm about to get real space age with this new sleeper. I had so many people tell me before I had Ford that this new sleeper is unlike anything and it's totally insane and it really helped their baby sleep and I was like, okay, I've got to research this and I've got to check it out and then when I got one, I realized what the fuss was about. So this is called a snoo sleeper. What you do, is you put your baby in this sleep sack. You put your baby in it, there's a small, medium, and a large. You then Velcro their arms down if you're one to swaddle, whatever method like your baby sleeps in is totally fine with me. I'm not a mom shamer, I'm the opposite of a mom shamer. I'm a mom cheerleader. <laughs> you put their arms down and then you zip this up. You then are gonna take these sides and you're gonna hook them into the snoo. So let me show you how I do that. So you're gonna slip it into the sides. Then your baby has their arms folded down. They're all the way zipped up to their chin. It's got this little thing to cover up the zipper so that their chin doesn't get snagged. And then you turn it on. So this is gonna be just the first setting. If your baby is resting peacefully, this is what it's gonna do. You hear the sound machine. You see the movement. This literally mimics being in the womb. This guy, I, I guess he, he was a, I'm pretty sure he was a pediatrician, and he spent years developing this. And I see why all this work was put into it because this is a pretty dang cool machine. So as the baby cries or moves or starts just fussing, this is gonna then make different movements and different sounds. So obviously Ford is not in here right now because he's taking a nap, but it's gonna start making more of, instead of that smooth sound noise, it's gonna start going shh, 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 shh. And this thing is gonna start moving faster. There are all different settings. This is a pricey machine. This is a splurge. So, it's up to you if you're wanting to spend. It's, it's over $1,000, I think. They run sales a lot, but um, I think about $1,300. This, if you're gonna wanna spend that kind of money, is an awesome, awesome, awesome baby gadget. I totally get it if you're not into the splurge, but I just wanted to show you this and tell you how awesome I think it is to review it in case you're looking at this. It 100% helped Ford to sleep and I think this is a pretty awesome gadget. I'm gonna show you guys the Rock and Play. Um, this is a much less expensive sleeper type thing that also moves. I also like showing you two different ones because different moms are different and different babies are different. And if I come on here and I say, this is the one to get, or this is the one to get without reviewing a couple for you, I feel like I'm not doing an actual gadget review justice. I got this one from Target for, this is well under a hundred dollars. This is a very affordable um, piece that is an absolute must have. It's obviously a lot different than like a snoo sleeper or a bassinet because this is a piece that we keep in our living room that Ford goes in every single day. He naps in this a lot. He, you can even have a baby sleep in it apparently. I'm obviously not an expert or a doctor or all these things. So these are just things that I've learned um, myself as a mother. So this, um, this is a great thing I think to register for too because it's a good price point and it's 100% a must have. Um, so you're gonna put your baby in this just like so. 
Um, you can strap them in. I don't know why you would strap them in. I mean, if they're infants, they're not going to climb out of this. And if they are, they need to be training at the Olympic Center in Denver, Colorado. You can turn this on right here. It has sounds. It rocks up and down. And a lot of times we actually didn't turn it on. We just laid them in it. You can also rock it by hand, but that's a great feature um, if you do want something that turns on and moves like that because a lot of babies respond really well to movement. Some babies don't, all babies are different. While I'm on the subject, I'm gonna show you something that did not work for us. That's kind of expensive and that, you know, I'll go out on a limb and buy some of these things because I want to give you a review of them and I have to show you the things that didn't work also. I'm also walking by this little thing we got from Target that we're using currently. Uh, it's a little jumper thing that he loves. And you see how many baby gadgets I have, this thing he loves, but we're talking about this right now. It's in the closet because it did not work for my child. It is the Mama Roo and I spent about $2.79 on it. And I don't know what it was about it, but he just didn't respond well to it. And I'm keeping it because I'm gonna keep it for the next baby because I think a lot of these things, the different baby's gonna respond differently. So this I got from Target and it was a little over $100 and he absolutely loves this. He couldn't go into it in, until he was about four months um, because they have to really be able to have some head control, but it's great, all these little toys. Um, little mirrors and all kinds of stuff. Another thing that did not work for us, and I think that it's because Ford's legs were too big. I bought this also at Target, and um, he just doesn't really fit into it leg-wise. So it's another thing that I didn't love. One more thing that I still have in my closet that I haven't really gotten out yet because he hasn't started crawling, um, and I already have stationary beds in here, is the pack and play. We started using that though on trips and that is also another really awesome one. Four Moms has a great one and Nuna has a great one. Another little gadget that is a must have is the Dr. Brown's bottle warmer. So whether you're breastfeeding like me and you're pumping milk and putting it in the freezer or the fridge, this is just really great. I got it on Amazon, it was like 30 something dollars. You fill this up with water and you just put the bottle in here. I like this because it takes up the least amount of space of any of the bottle warmers that I saw and it's just tried and true, foolproof, very easy. You just turn it on um, the amount that you're gonna heat the bottle up and then it kind of like steams it. So I really love that. Other thing you have to have for obvious reasons, a diaper pail. Whichever one you get is gonna do the job. I got the Ubi, I have one upstairs and downstairs. This is gonna make your diapers not stink and you have to have this. It's like 60 something dollars. A sound machine is a million percent a must. So I started out with this one. I just bought this one off of Amazon. This is the typical like Dom one. It's got a high setting that you can change and a lower setting. We are loud around Ford, but it definitely helps to have that sound machine to like drown out a little bit of that background noise. And then the one that I'm gonna show you upstairs, now Ford is sleeping, so I'm gonna have to walk up there and show you very quietly. Is this one that I got a couple weeks ago and it's called, it's by Hatch Baby. And it is a nightlight and a sound machine in one, but what's really cool about it is that you can control it from your phone. You can turn up the light, down the light, you can turn, turn it to different colors. You can change the sounds from wind blowing to ocean to um, music and you can do all that from your phone. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly. Any of these, I'm gonna link down below and you can look for a further review. I'm just telling you like my quick opinions of all these gadgets. Walking past this wall. Look at all these pictures of when he was a tiny baby. When I'm filming, Kyle watches more. We try and get so much done in one day. It's totally insane. A gadget that is a must have is a good husband. See if you can register for one of those if you don't have one. So 
this is our baby must have videos. All the gadgets that work for us. I just woke him up from a, from a nap. I'm sorry. Are you gonna try to crab in this bed with me one night? Sure. <laughs> we ain't gonna fit. <laughs> so I hope you guys love this video of the gadgets that we love. Mommy loves you. I feel happy.